Hey, what up, Slackers? Today I want to talk about Dragon Ball. This is a topic that is dear and near to my heart because I grew up with this shit, man. It's probably the best manga slash anime ever made. Um, of course, different people have different opinions, but to me, it was definitely among the top three. Okay. Dragon Ball. Um, yeah, before I go into the Wikipedia page, um, I just wanted to also go over the idioms that I've prepared for today. So the first one is, check this out. I think almost all of you know what that means, but, um, it's, a, it's just a really cool phrase. It's like, check this out. Take a look at this. Uh, you might want to check this out, you know, that kind of, that, that kind of use, um, in our daily speech. It just makes you sound cool, so uh, I mean, yeah, use it. And the second, the second one is it so appears to be. I think the um, the phrase itself is appears it appears so or something like that. It just means that it it looks like it kind of looked like this, it kind of looked like that. So uh, it so appears to be. And the third idiom is the arch rival. That just means your most hated enemy. Well, not just the hated enemy, but um, yeah, someone that kind of races you to the end. And uh, I think these days the arch rival um, doesn't really take on that negative connotation anymore because having Having a rival is good. It's good for you. It's good for your own development. And, uh, yeah, so embrace that. Your arch rival. The last one is fired up. Um, yeah, this is another, another thing that, or another phrase that sounds really cool. Just by hearing the word, you're so fired up, that gets you excited. Um, yeah, kind of like a onomatopoeia that, um, just gets you you know, the sound of the phrase gets, gets you that feeling of excitement. So, um, yeah, so today I only have four idioms because I want to talk about Dragon Ball. And, uh, yeah, I, I love this shit. Dragon Ball. Um, okay, let me start reading here. Dragon Ball is a Japanese media franchise created by Akira Toriyama in 1984. The initial manga... Written and illustrated by Toriyama was serialized in the weekly Shonen Jump from 1984 to 1995 with the 519 individual chapters collected into 42 Tangoban volumes by its publisher Shueisha. Dragon Ball was initially inspired by the classical 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West as well as Hong Kong martial art films. Um, yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Dragon Ball combines um, the fighting element from the martial arts films with uh, some of the characters from that novel. Of course, that's from my home country, so I totally understand um, the references there. Journeys to the West. That's something that uh, we Chinese people really take it... Um, take it, you know, take, take so much pride in, and, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess it, the, the, uh, the author here, Toriyama, he borrowed the concept and made it really good, so, I, as, as a Chinese person, I'm totally, I'm, I'm actually really proud of what he did, um, giving a totally different spin to that novel. So, uh, or to the characters of that novel and made the story so interesting. Uh, the original story is also, uh, it also kicks ass, but uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is just legendary. The series follows the adventures of the protagonist, Son Goku. Okay, this is something that I noticed. So, Son Goku, he, he's obviously based on the main character, um, from Journey to the West, and that's, I guess that's pretty much the same name if you were to translate it either in Japanese 
or you translate it in English, that's how you spell it. But the last name Sun, uh, nowadays that just sounds so Korean. Um, no wonder there was some kind of a dispute where the Koreans uh, were saying that Sun Goku or the original character from Journey to the West, he was a Korean, uh, was a Korean person. Um, because his name, if you look at it like this, he does sound pretty Korean. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was a Chinese novel to begin with. So, uh, yeah, it's just a translation. I think, yeah, the, the, yeah, the confusion lies in the translation. Because nowadays, you got, what, like, the, the rich dude, what's his name? Masayoshi son? He's Korean, and he's uh, second generation Japanese. So, um, yeah, and then there's also Sun Hyung Min playing for Tottenham uh, Hotspurs. Yeah, so those are two names that I can think of um, that can be affiliated. <laughs> Maybe they're related to Goku. Um, but yeah, I can totally see how why that sounded a little Korean. So, Sun Goku, from his childhood through adulthood as he trains in martial arts, he spends his childhood far from civilization until he meets a teen girl named Boma. By the way, yeah, Boma's got awesome, huge knockers. Uh, you gotta check that out. Just go, go to the manga and check him out. Yeah, she's got... The only two things that I remember about Boma is that, one, she's got purple hair, Two, she's got really nice boobs. Um, okay, back to uh, the story. Who in so Boma, who encourages him to join her quest in exploring the world in search of the seven orbs known as the Dragon Balls, which summons a wish-granting dragon when gathered. You have to gather all seven of them. Uh, yeah, kind of like uh, Pokemon, you gotta catch them all. Once you catch them, they... Uh, the dragon would appear, grant you uh, three wishes, and then they would disperse to random corners around the world. And you gotta find them again. And then the dragon would appear again. That's kind of like the basic idea. But I think in the end, the dragon didn't mean much <laughs> because all of the characters, mostly, I mean, mostly the villains has gotten so powerful that they can just beat the crap out of that dragon anyway. So, uh... Yeah, <laughs> but I like, I, I still like the, the name Dragon Ball because it kind of gives you a sense of purpose of why this story, as, as the story keeps uh, developing. Um, along his journey, Goku makes several other friends, becomes a family man, yay, there goes Gohan, um, discovers his alien heritage and battles a wide variety of villains, many of whom also seek the Dragon Balls. That was at the beginning. Because toward the end, um, <laughs> it didn't matter whether they had the Dragon Balls or not, or they, they, they can summon the dragon or not. Because um, they had enough power to, to do pretty much anything and destroy the entire universe. The villains, one after another, got only got stronger and stronger. And so did Goku. I guess that's the balancing power. Um... Toriyama's manga was adapted and divided into two anime series produced by Toei Animation, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. See, a lot of us don't really understand the difference between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Actually, to this day, I still don't understand the difference. Um, but here, I guess they go into it a little bit. Which, together, were broadcast in Japan from 1986 to 1996. Additionally, the studio has developed 20 animated feature films and three television specials, as well as two anime sequel series titled Dragon Ball GT and Dragon Ball Super. From 2009 to 2015, a revised version of Dragon Ball Z aired in Japan under the title Dragon Ball Kai as a recut that follows the manga story more faithfully by remo removing most of the material featured exclusively in the anime. Yeah, just a small comment here. The anime kind of sucked ass compared to the manga. Um, if you have a chance, uh, n not all of us have... Basically, not all, all of us read books these days, right? We're all grown-ups. Books is just, like, 
some pastime for losers and, and, and geeks and, and nerds. Um, well, that shouldn't be the case because we're all idiots. We're all ignorant because we don't read. But in any case, if you do want to read, read a manga. And that manga can might as well be Dragon Ball. Because um, Dragon Ball is one of the best mangas. Like, I already said this. Dragon Ball is one of the best mangas ever made, ever produced. And it, it's just a classic that I believe n nothing will ever surpass. Not even something like One Piece. Because... Yeah, I've, I've never seen One Piece, actually, but, um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dra Dragon Ball is my, my number one. Um, so, yeah. Several companies have developed various types of merchandising based on the series, leading to a large media franchise that includes films, both animated and live action, collectible trading card games, numerous action figures along with several collections of soundtracks and numerous video games. Hmm. I guess the author of this wiki really likes the word numerous. Um, yeah, pick up some vocabs, dude. Dragon Ball is one of the top 20 highest grossing vo um, vocab media franchises of all time having generated an estimated 30 million in total franchise revenue. Yeah. Oh, I, pardon me. It has generated an estimated 30 billion in total franchise revenue. That is pretty remarkable. Um, but I don't know how big of a cut Toriyama actually got. Regardless, the dude should be so proud of his invention uh, based on his... Uh, it's just unbelievable imagination that the characters, the story, really hats off to the guy. Since its release, Dragon Ball has become one of the most successful manga and anime series of all time, with the manga sold in over 40 countries and the anime broadcast in more than 80 countries. The manga's 42 collected Tango Bun, Volumes has sold over 160 million copies in Japan and are estimated to have sold more than 250 to 300 million copies worldwide, making it the second best-selling manga series in history behind only One Piece. Well, I still think Dragon Ball is a better piece of work than One Piece because I have never seen One Piece uh, and that's probably not a good comparison, but to me, Dragon Ball all the way. Reviewers have praised the art, characterization, and humor of the story. Yeah, humor in Dragon Ball is, was, especially at the beginning, was just, it, it, it was just supreme in the way, um, it was incorporated into into all the action and all the fighting. It, it was, yeah, it was action, um, plot per blended perfectly with humor. And that transcends the barrier of language or culture. That's what makes it such a popular manga worldwide. And I'm very surprised that it's only sold 250 to 300 million copies. I was thinking that it's got to break a billion. How many billion people do we have in the world now? Um, probably 10 billion or something like that. If that's the case, um, so 300 million, that's what? One thirtieth of the world's population. So one out of 30 people in this world has read Dragon Ball Z. I mean, um, has either read or watched Dragon Ball growing up. So that is in itself quite an accomplishment, Mr. Toriyama. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential manga series ever made with many manga artists citing Dragon Ball as a source of inspiration of their own now popular works. The anime, yeah, the, 
the, the word inspiration is an understatement. Um, I'll go, go into it a little later. The anime, particularly Dragon Ball Z, is also highly popular across the world and is considered one of the most influential boosting in boosting the popularity of Japanese animation and Western culture. Oh, you bet. I think the Dragon Ball Z series is the most popular one here in the U.S., but uh, in China, I believe it was the original Dragon Ball series, which uh, when I was a kid, I remember reading and enjoyed it so much. Um, it had also a considerable impact on global popular culture, referenced by and inspiring numerous artists, athletes, celebrities, filmmakers, musicians, and writers across the world. And they even made numerous films, um, adaptations of Dragon Ball, where, like, white dudes were casted as Goku, and that totally just did not make it right. Because there's no, I mean... Whether Goku could be, like, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, um, that didn't really matter. But it did matter that Goku was Asian, okay? He was a Super Saiyan, but he was Asian. That doesn't... The, the fact that he can transform into a blonde, blue-eyed dude doesn't make him white. Because Goku is Asian. That That is... That is... Um, not debatable, and that identity remains until the end of time. Um, yeah, let's just go into the, the, the plots a little bit, or the setting. So the Dragon Ball story takes place on Earth, where Goku goes on adventures to find Dragon Balls, as well as aspiring to become a great fighter, and competes in multiple martial art tournaments. Yeah, by the way, those tournaments were very fun to, to see. Um, they were, like, the best part of the manga that I really enjoyed. And because it, it happens every... Oh, it's been so long. It, 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 it happens every few years, or every five years or whatever, whatever um, or every ten years. And each tournament, there's something big, like, happening in that tournament. Whether it's kind of like... A, Kind of like a WrestleMania, uh, something big that is like gonna go into the plot of the entire franchise um, will happen at the tournament, and those were just the exciting, exciting episodes. Um, and Goku later stops the evil Red Ribbon Army, then three years later thwarts the Grand Demon King Piccolo's plans for a world conquest. By the way. Piccolo was a good guy later, or has turned to a or turned into a good guy later, and I love Piccolo. Um, afterwards, he and his friends protect the Earth from the Saiyan invasion. The setting also goes. Oh, are they gonna mention Vegeta? Yeah, Vegeta is so badass. Love the dude. Yeah, there we go. Goku and Vegeta started off as arch rivals. Ooh, I love how I work that into that sentence. So, arch rivals, Goku and Vegeta, okay? Um, the setting also goes to planet Namek later on in the series for Boma, Gohan, and Krillin to revive Goku's fallen friends from the Saiyan's attack, where they encounter Vegeta's higher-ups as well as the Cosmic Emperor Frieza. Yeah, that dude was the most powerful villain. Yeah, until he was not. Um, yeah, one, I guess one thing with the, the story is that the uh, the villains has become so powerful um, as the, uh, yeah, the, the next generation of villains starting to show up that the power, the, the kind of, the, the, yeah, the power of the universe gets, it just keeps shrinking. Like, at a point where the villains later can kind of just crush planet Earth with, like, the flip of a finger. So, we kind of, yeah, there's a, a point where the story, I think, um, Toriyama would have a, a, hard, a hard time um, keep developing the plot because of that power 
uh, that power dynamic between the characters became so difficult to balance. Um, but nonetheless, that makes that does not that does not blemish the um, the awesomeness of this of this entire story and the entire series. Back to that whole word about inspiration. I think one important. Uh, Hold on. Before I talk about inspiration from Dragon Ball, let me just go back to the idioms and make sure I covered everything. So, check this out. Goku can transform into a blonde dude, and that is called a Super Saiyan. Um, I guess that kind of works. Um, or, check this out. Dragon Ball has sold over 300 million copies worldwide. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. Um, it so appears to be. Okay. It so appears to be, spoiler, Goku has been killed. But was, was he killed or did he, did he do something to uh, kill himself? And... I think that was to beat Cell. Was that right? That's that's been. So by the way, Cell is not like a phone or a jail. It's a uh, it's the super villain who's super funny too. I love the guy. Um, yeah, it so appears to be Go Goku died in the uh, showdown against Cell. L little did you know that. Or little did we know that Goku was going to come back from the dead. Yeah, sorry, that's, that was the spoiler I was talking about. Um, yeah, still, go back to the manga. It's, it's, it's awesome, and it's worth seeing, although you know um, that there is the anime or all of these like modern-day uh, Netflix crap. For you to see. Still go back to the manga. Pick up a book, man. Um, fired up. Yeah. When it comes to protecting the Earth and his friends, Goku is always so fired up to take on any villain that comes in his way. Yep, so I covered all the, all the idioms, and before I sign off, I just want to say, Dragon Ball has inspired a lot of us, especially to me, on a personal level, the number one thing that Dragon Ball has given me was the affirmation that Asians are worth something. You know, as an Asian kid, um, growing up in America really um, puts a lot of doubt in my mind of wh where is my place in this world? It is not the homeland, um, and it doesn't seem like to be America either, and nowhere else in the world I could see myself belong, but, you know, on these types of creation, um, like these types of stories that you read through a manga or seeing it in an anime, or just to see guys like Bruce Lee on, on, on TV and movies, it kind of, the, again, the word inspiration is an understatement. It gives you a vision, a grander vision beyond who those characters are. And it allows us to visualize ourselves living in this world and having a place um, where we can feel comfortable. So you don't have to be Goku, um, who is a superhero and saves the earth you can be your own superhero as an asian guy i i don't want to sound cheesy but every person even if you're asian even if you're ugly even if um you don't speak perfect english or even if you just feel like there's a huge sense of insecurity in you but i bet you are someone's superhero in this world. So, yeah, just be inspired. Embrace your own identity 
and it, <laughs> yeah, and maybe one day you will find your own Super Saiyan transformation and become that much more powerful and that much cooler um, to defeat anything that comes your way. But even if you don't, still just believe that there is a purpose for you and there is a place. You know, in this world that is dominated by uh, Western culture and um, offsprings of the people who's created this world order, a.k.a. the white folks. Um, I, I love the word white people because, like, it, it doesn't mean shit if you take that context out of America. By the way, I'm just ranting now. Um, I think the word... I think one... Um, huge influence of the United States to the world is to introduce the concept of the term white people. Because before United States, I don't believe Europeans called themselves white people. Because all Europeans are white people. And, um, yeah, I'm getting off track here. Back to, uh, the whole, um, the whole, like, inspiration thing. Although, you know, you, you may find yourself, li you know, living in this world where everything, all the rules are set by um, the people before you who don't look like you. But still, there are things that you could do. There are values that you can provide to others. And you can still pursue your dream and do the things that you want to do. And look at how, how well Toriyama did, right? As a Japanese dude, he inspired millions around the world and change their lives and change their perspective of the world through his work. So not only Goku should inspire you, I think Toriyama himself is a, is a hero. And I have a lot of respect for, for the guy and, and of course for, for Goku for just being such a naive and lovable character. He is... You know, he can, he can use Bulma's chest, or Bulma's, uh, Bulma's chest, um, as pillows when he sleeps, as a, as a kid, as a little kid. I mean, where, like, where would you get that? Um, that is, that just shows that, you know, in this world that is tarnished with all the sexuality and all the, the bullshit, um, of course, sex always sails, but, you know, this, this types of work is just a breath of fresh air to all of us, and when you go back, maybe, like, for those of you that also grew up with Dragon Ball, in, maybe in 20 years, when you have grandkids, just find those old manga that you used to have, and just flip through them, and, and, and read the initial, um... I don't know, like, the initial episodes or, or the initial uh, few volumes of that manga, it, it just totally blows your mind of what, how, such a, such a classic piece of work that, that story was. And, yeah, I'm, I'm out of words to describe my, um appreciation for Dragon Ball and I think here just the, the I'm just gonna leave you with that let it inspire you and find your own inner Goku and embrace who you are and be optimistic like that little kid whom was obviously um or apparently abandoned um, from his home planet as a lost Saiyan baby on Earth. Maybe that's who you are, and you just have to discover it for yourself. So, that's all, and, um, you guys enjoy your, uh, enjoy your, your day, okay? Signing off.